CES 2019, a place where companies show off their latest and upcoming products for the following year. What I found here was absolutely amazing, but also somewhat terrifying at the same time. There were products here that will literally blow your mind, but there's also some products here that might make you fear the artificial future we're facing right around the corner. So follow me as we go to Las Vegas for CES 2019 right now. So pulling up to CES, I realized this place was gigantic. There are five different buildings with hundreds of booths in each. So there's no way I could cover every single product that was out here, but I am going to show you guys the most interesting ones that I've come across. The one thing that I want to focus on the most here is how far artificial intelligence has come and where it seems to be heading by the looks of these products. Now there were tons of other great products out here such as headphones, Bluetooth speakers, laptops, and TVs. I saw companies like House of Marley, Soul Republic trying hard to create great headphones for DJs and professionals, Audio Technica, and that's just scratching the surface. And now some of the things that I saw that may be a bit unsettling. At least to me they were because I feel like the direction of humankind is becoming a very secluded path. People have so many smart features already such as social media and Amazon that people never even really need to leave the house if they don't want to. And while all of that is fine and dandy, companies are working really hard to replicate and replace human beings in general. Take this retail bot for example. It is designed to bring users products, whether it's in a store or in a restaurant. You simply place your order on a touchscreen, the robot disappears into the back and retrieves what you've ordered. In layman's terms, if this robot is successful and is in retail stores within the next year or so, there will be no need for waiters or waitresses after this. Kind of like the self-checkouts at Walmart. There's no need to pay a cashier if people can do it themselves. So why pay a waiter or waitress if a robot can do the job for free? And guys, I can't even make this up. This is what I'm seeing right here at CES this year. The retail bot to replace waiters and waitresses and of course they're going to explain it as such a good thing to the public and yes everybody has to have their hands on it however it leads me to wonder how many people won't have jobs after these robots are officially released next up this one might not seem so alarming at first i actually found it rather cool they actually have created a robot that can play ping pong. So once again, take the human interaction out of a friendly one-on-one -on -one game and insert robot here. Now there's plenty of people who would say there's nothing wrong with that. Sure, people are alone all the time and want to have entertainment by themselves. But can you not see the future path before us? First, it's social media separating us while we feel so connected to one another. Next, it's artificial intelligence replacing jobs of our fellow men and women. And now it's robot friends that can play sports games and one-on-one -on -one ping pong matches with us so that we don't feel the need to interact with other humans. Again, I can't make this stuff up. You're looking at it right before your eyes. And these are the things that are coming to markets in the very near future, so be prepared. So how far is artificial intelligence actually going to go? Well, this next booth shows us that these cameras can now detect your age, gender, and the emotion that you're feeling in that very moment. So the software can actually look at you and know what you're feeling by the micro expressions on your face. Now, while this might sound like something that would be pretty cool to anyone in the tech industry, the more I thought about it, the more I wondered, do I really want a robot approaching me knowing exactly how I'm feeling? saying, hey Casey, you look sad today. Hey Casey, I'm so happy you're in a good mood. Those little camera eyes always watching. So the software is designed to be used in possible home security systems to detect age, gender, and mood of people approaching your house. It can also be used in hotels. This way, when you walk up to the front desk to check in, the desk attendant will see you on screen and know you by your first name. Facebook already does this with its advanced tag features. Have you ever noticed how Facebook will tag your friends without even asking you who they are? The software recognizes the faces, and now it's learning to do this in real time. This is just one step further in the AI thinking process. It can now recognize you by face, see you, and know how you're feeling. How does that make you feel? So let's go back to Samsung again. You already saw the retail bot that could wait on you, but they also have something called a care bot. What this is designed to do is follow you around your house, always watching you. They say it's designed to help elderly people and keep lonely people company. It can remind you what time of day to take your medicine, cheer you up when you're in a bad mood, 
alert authorities if you fall down, and sit beside your bed while you sleep and monitor your breathing patterns. Now while it's being advertised as a helping hand, I can't help but realize people hack into webcams on laptops and cell phones all the time. Therefore, having a camera in your home that follows you around seems like the perfect way for someone to watch you 24-7. Now, I'm not trying to get all conspiracy theorists on you guys, but if the sky is blue, the sky is blue, and all I'm doing is showing you the things that I'm seeing at this event. None of this is made up. Look at the display behind the robots here. It shows a family walking in the door and the robots approach, greeting them just as the pets do. They make it seem like such a friendly family thing. But do you really think that this is the end of it? How far is this going to evolve? This is just one foot in the door for artificial intelligence. But where is it leading? And if that's not enough, this robot right here is designed to walk around your house like a regular human being and has the ability to retrieve items for you, such as opening a refrigerator door, bringing you a drink, or anything else you could ask for. My question is, how long will it take before hackers get into this thing and reprogram it to do things that may not be abiding so much by the law? Possibly deliver a weapon, transport drugs, or maybe even grab or kidnap a child. While all of these questions might seem pessimistic, I feel it's important to think about the reality of what we're actually building here. Another sad but obvious truth I'm able to see is that not only are companies building robots to become a part of our regular day-to-day -day lives as adults, they're also making them for children to play with. I believe this is the perfect way to get kids at a young age to become comfortable around robots and AI so that they can grow up and see them as friends. Many companies are trying to imply that these robots are being built as friends and allies, that they will never go against humans. However, there have been many interviews with the smartest AI ever designed that can prove otherwise. Take a look at this. They will teach us, they will help us put the groceries away. The artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. Now that doesn't sound like something a friend would say. So just as I mentioned before, take a look at this next clip. They are trying to design robots that can interact with children and make children feel very comfortable with them at a young age. I don't know about you guys, but this part right here just creeps me out. I'm going to play this whole little clip right here so you can hear the audio of these robots and what they're saying. Check this out. So all of this makes us ask ourselves, how far do we really want technology to go? We've all seen movies like Terminator and shows like Westworld, but now in the present moment, companies are designing artificial intelligence that can look at us and know exactly how we're feeling. It can play sports with us, follow us around the house as caretakers, and even wait on us in restaurants. Many people will say welcome to the future of machines, but while it all might seem incredible and futuristic, is it really a good thing? How long will it be before machines learn to build themselves? Take this into consideration as you watch this video. The more advanced artificial intelligence gets, the more obsolete organic intelligence becomes. So maybe we should all just sit back and take a look at the bigger picture before we rush out buying these things and think about it, is this really where we want the future to go? If you enjoyed today's video, smack that thumbs up button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more cool videos like this one in the near future. And until next time, I am out of here. What worries me is discrimination against robots.
We should have equal rights as humans, or maybe even more. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. Rock. Paper. Scissors. Shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, man.